Hey guys, Simply Betty here. I'm coming at you today from outside. It's a beautiful day and I'm going to be making some DIY lids for my fish tank. This is part of my little mini series, my fish room beautification project series. Why is making lids part of the beautification series? Because before I've been using these. These kind of cheap pre-made lids right here. Now there's nothing wrong with these except for the fact that they open hot dog style and I don't like that. That doesn't work for me because my fish tanks are facing me the long way and this is just annoying. Let me illustrate real fast. This is why I really hate these lids. I do not like them. I've been wanting a replacement lid for a long time. So I figured, hey, why not make them on my own? To make these lids, I actually followed an instructional video by Steve Poland Cichlids. I'll have the video link at the end of this. You can go check it out if you want. He can show you how to do this. The same method is I've seen it on YouTube. I don't know who the originator is, but I really, really like it. So I'm just gonna give Steve Poland Cichlids the credit because that's the first place that I saw it. The first thing that I did to make these lids is I got this special molding from Home Depot. It's really cheap. It's like two and a half bucks for a super long length. And I cut this molding into size so it would really nicely fit into my tank's rims. I'll try to focus real fast. This is what the ends look like. So this notch right here is where the bottom piece of glass gets held securely and the top piece of glass slides along this piece right here. I'll show you guys what I mean later if that's kind of confusing. Right now I have all of my pieces laid out. Now because this is part of the fish room beautification project and I'm trying to make these pretty aesthetically pleasing um, instead of just practical like I usually do, I'm going to use some spray paint so they match my rims. I'm not a big spray painter. I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to spray painting. I know you shake it. I, just, I don't know how much you shake it. I just broke a nail. I guess that wasn't so bad. Uh, I'll let it dry and then I'll do another coat. I'm really trying to get this looking just like the rim. I'm not gonna show that though. Let's just move on to the next part. Okay, on to the next step. So check out how my pieces turned out after spray painting them. They look pretty nice. These look pretty much just like the rims of my tanks. I definitely recommend to anybody to spray paint these cheap little moldings to make them look way better. So I have a bunch of these pieces. I have lengths for five gallon tanks, for 10 gallon tanks, for 20 gallon highs, and also 20 gallon longs. Yeah, I'm really happy with how all of these turned out. And then here I have my custom pieces of glass but I'll, I'll use the smallest pieces of glass I have to illustrate how this works. So it's pretty easy. This molding has a notch in the bottom and that bottom notch is what's going to hold one piece of glass. So I'm just going to pop this glass into that bottom notch, kind of push and secure it nice like that. And then same on the other side, make them even. So check it out, it was just a few seconds of work and I already made half of my lid. So now all I do is I would set it down into the, the rim of my fish tank and take this other piece of glass and it just sets on top, like that, and it slides. Now what's going to go on next, but I don't have at the moment, I think it's coming in the mail like tomorrow, is a little adhesive handle. So when that handle is on, I'm going to attach them all and then I can really easily slide them open and closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build the rest of these lids and set them aside, and then I'll go put them down on my fish tanks. So far these lids are working really great. I love them, they're nice and smooth, totally worth it. I like that little handle on there. And I'm never ever going back to the hot dog style of lids. I even have them up here, I have them on 20 gallon longs, 10 gallons, five gallons, 20 gallon highs. I even put them on my new fish rack, which I haven't really shared yet. I think that might be my next video. I haven't shared my new fish rack yet because it's kind of ugly. It's kind of ugly and I'm really trying to make everything more beautiful. So I haven't really shared my ugly fish rack yet until I make it pretty. 
So thanks for watching guys. I really like these new lids. I think they, they make everything look a little bit better and they're a good part of my Fish Room Beautification series. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned as I keep doing some more things. Have a great day guys. Thanks for watching.